Oh my God, I'm about to cry right now. So uh, I got to double check in the threads who uh, who posted just before uh, I had done some stuff. I'm going to put this in a video because it was, it's a little bit too much to type up. What was crazy was I had assembled it, reassembled it the same way. And I just didn't feel like the inside guts were communicating with each other. That AB3, AB23, something just didn't seem right. And I, I could have sworn when I wrote down and took pictures of the sequence of when I disassembled it that I had done it a certain way. But the breakthrough, it's working now, and I'll show you in a second. The breakthrough was putting everything, I know this sounds stupid, putting everything on the brake side, building that up, connecting everything on that side. I knew I had to come in from that side, and then the drive side would be separate because you can't, the way the inside of the hub is, it won't fit through there. But what I had done was put the sprocket and that low speed spiral piece, the low speed, I think clutch, I guess I call it, in first, putting the AB3, AB23 in next, and then putting all of the brake side stuff, the plates next. And it seemed to assemble right, but you could even hear my video was like kind of grinding a little bit. And I, 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 in the video, I couldn't even get it assembled to work properly. So I'm going to flip the video around real quick and show you. What happened was I came in when I brought and put everything together on the brake side. I, I had to reassemble. I had to assemble some stuff before it went in. Instead of putting two pieces and then the brake, everything needed to go in at the same time. And I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. So here we are. I'm going to start it off. I'm actually in high gear now. Hold on. All right. And you feel it right now. I'm in... I think low, I kick back, and all of a sudden it goes low, and then you feel it kick into high. I come back again, I'm at low, I feel it grinding a little bit because it's on that lower piece inside, and then I kick back, and then all of a sudden you feel it sink into second, I got it, I got it. You, I should say you guys got it. I assembled it and it was like, ugh. it like it had to go on the brake spindle not separate. God damn, it was one stupid friggin' step. And it, it's working now. It's I can't even I don't want to say a bad word. It's working now. Damn it. I was so friggin' close. But that's why the inside pieces weren't communicating with each other, and the indexer and the retarder couldn't work properly. Because there's no way I could put those pieces in and move the pin to where it needed to go. On those little springs um, I don't know if the right, right word is retarder but basically the detente you couldn't assemble the detente in the sequence that I did it unless you built it using that side first I am oh my god oh shit my god that 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 hit me like a ton of bricks that was a breakthrough oh my gosh the freaking bike is working I'm like I'm in tears right now because I can finally ride this damn thing properly oh my gosh it just I just had to like reverse one step. I was so I was so freaking close. I just had to reverse one step and just like sort of de deconstruct it and get it back to where it needed to be. Holy shit. I can't believe it's working. I can't believe it's working. I'm just I'm a little speechless right now. Thank you so much, guys. Um the other owner put a lot of money and time into getting this thing good and shiny and rebuilding stuff. 3D printed parts, stuff that was powder coated, and I'm still good friends with the guy I bought it from. In fact, I bought, I bought this repop from him, a Super Seven. I bought, um, I have a bike that I'm getting fixed right now, a '58 Roadmaster, and I felt bad because I, I felt like I took what the guy did, and I got stuck and I almost ruined it. And now that it's working properly, because you guys gave me some great advice, now I feel like it's, uh, it's a bit of a mountain that was climbed. You know, I've only had the bike a couple of months at this point, but. I felt like I kind of screwed it up trying to make it better because it had a single speed hub on it. And again, given the work that he had done, I just wanted to do the bike right. Um, thank you again. Also, some cabers recommended. Um, I sent it, this to a gentleman up in uh, Vermont. He's actually the guy that has the fork for my 58 right now, uh, which is in pieces. I'm getting that fixed. Uh, he helped straighten this thing out. So I, again, I I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I. The, the original buyer I got it from got it from a lady in an estate sale. The poor thing looked like absolute like roach bait. 
and uh, she didn't realize that the front fork was completely almost unrideable. The guy took it to the end of his driveway, loved it, and just displayed it. And again, I just want to take it up another notch. So uh, anyway, sorry I had to make a five-minute video on this, but my my heart is like uh, completely pounding out of my chest that this thing is actually working the way it should. And it's only because I didn't I, I know I followed the, every video I could find on the directions as best I could, but I didn't put a couple of things together going in at the same time. And that made all the friggin' difference. Now I got the right play over here. All this is doing exactly what it needs to do. I, I'm assuming the brake works. I'll double check that real quick. Yeah, the brake is fine. Um, it assembled a little bit easier. God damn, I swear I read those directions correctly, but it literally took just deconstructing one thing to do it the right way, and it's friggin' working. Cave guys, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, wow, this was huge. All right, thank you for getting this uh, 64 on the road. I can't wait to take this to uh, the Unisphere in Queens again, uh, Corona Park over there, and uh, taking some really good pictures with it because uh, it's been through a lot, and goddamn, I've been through a lot in the last week trying to get it going. Thank you so much, guys, for your advice. Uh, it's, it really uh, changed my whole week. Thank you.